Hey, yo, 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 peeps, how are you all getting on? This is your boy Popsy from Future Shock Studios. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're going to be talking about an in ear monitoring system. It's the PTM10. It's by a company called Fenix Pro. So, the PTM10 is an in ear UHF stereo wireless in ear monitoring system. It also comes with a rack mount kit and it has a selectable frequency of 500 megahertz. And it also has a wireless transmission range up to 160 feet. And that's in open space in line of sight and it's ideal for studios stage exhibits and speech as well also don't forget to check the timestamps out to help you navigate throughout the video so with that being said let's go and roll the intro Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about audio gear and reviews each and every Monday. All the audio in this video will be monitored by the IEM system. So wait there. Let's go and turn that on right now. So there's the headphones that I'm going to put into my ears now. And this is the body pack receiver that I'm going to switch on. And as you can see, I can now hear the audio coming directly into my headphones. So let me just put that on the side now. And as for this review, I've got the in-ear monitoring system, the PTM10, going directly into my Apollo Twin X, where I'm recording all the audio into Logic Pro X via my MacBook. All things said, let's go ahead and see what comes in the box. So everything comes in this well-packaged box. Opening the box, you're met with a hard black storage carrying case for safekeeping. So inside the case, you'll find the UHF stereo wireless UHF transmitter, a body pack receiver, which comes with two AA batteries to power it up. You'll also find this antenna. You get this DC power adapter. And of course, you'll find the in-ear monitor earphones with the extra sized earbuds. The package also includes a metal rack mount kit with an extension cord and adapter supplied to facilitate a more professional use. Also included is a quarter inch jack adapter for headphones that have a 3.5 millimeter end. And finally, you get this very useful manual guide. And I do highly recommend that you read the user manual not because it has some very useful tips and understandings of the whole unit. If you're interested in picking up this in-ear monitoring system for yourself, it will set you back around the £180 in the UK at the time of filming this video. As always, I'll throw some links in the description down below. Okay, let's go and have a look at the transmitter first. As far as the build quality and the features go, this feels excellent. The base transmitter unit is of a metal construction. The buttons and dials all feel pretty sturdy. Looking at the front panel from left to right, you're gonna find the quarter inch stereo headphone jack. Besides that, you'll find the earphone volume adjustment knob. And besides that, you'll find the input adjustment knob. And that's to control the monitor volume level. And next to that, you'll find the green colored LCD display. And to the right of that, you're gonna find the frequency setup button. And the button above that is the channel selection button up. And below the set button is the channel selection button down and to the right of that you'll find the power on off on. button so that's the front of the panel let's go and have a look at the back panel so just looking at the back of the panel from left to right, you're gonna find a 13 to 15 volt DC input. That's to connect your AC-DC adapter to the receiver. And besides that, you'll find the balanced and unbalanced audio input jack left. And just besides that, you'll find the balanced, unbalanced audio input jack right. And besides that, you'll find the pad switch to adjust your output gain, which also gives you a cut gain of a minus 12 decibels. However, the default setting of zero decibels will have no effect on the gain. And just to the right of that, you'll find the antenna the jack. So that's the transmitter let's go and have a look at this body pack receiver in a bit more detail so just looking at the top of the body pack receiver on the top you'll find the on off power switch and to the left of that you'll find the volume control dial and also find the antenna and to the far right you'll find the earphone jack and on the rear of the receiver you're going to find this very sturdy belt clip and on the front of the receiver you're going to find this lcd display at the top and on the top you'll find the led status light green indicating it's on and just below the display on the left you'll find the set button confirming or selecting menus to the right of that you'll find the add button Select the menu and make your adjustments and to the left of the add button you'll find the ir window okay so now that you've had a chance to see the transmitter and the body pack receiver let's go and show you the setup of the transmitter Okay, to make any changes on the transmitter, you'll have to press the set button first and double pressing it will highlight the group button on the top. Once the group is selected, press the up and down arrows to select the suitable frequency group you want. The next one across is the channel selection. Again, press set, press the up and down arrows to select the suitable channel you wish. So the third selection is the mode selection. Hold and press the set button until mode selection flashes. Press menu up and down to select stereo or mono. The next section is the lock function. Hold and press the 
set button. Press the up menu to select a lock or unlock. If the frequency is locked, you cannot change the frequency no matter what button you press. And finally, hold the set button until exit flashes and that will exit the operation. Do please read this manual because it gives you a good indication of what all the codes and functions are. So setting up the body pack receiver with the transmitter couldn't be any easier. Let's first begin with giving the set button a long press. There you'll be met with the EQ function. So press the add button to turn it on and press the add button again to turn it off. Pressing the set button will take you to the L1 function, which is the limiter function. And pressing the add button will toggle between on and off. Pressing the set button again will take you to the FO function, which basically is your stereo and mono selection. Press the add button to toggle between on and off. And please do bear in mind that whatever mode whether it's stereo or mono must be the same for the transmitter as well as the receiver and another press of the set button will take you to the LO function which basically is your lock function press the add button to turn on and off lock mode and pressing the set button again will take you back to your megahertz frequency which should be matching with your transmitter uh, so let's go and fire up the system and do an outdoor test so before you use the system, the antenna will have to be put onto the transmitter. The antenna is a push and twist mechanism. You push the antenna in and use the twist mechanism and that locks that in. And also you wanna make sure the frequencies match on the transmitter as well as the receiver and adjust the volume to your liking and you're all good you're to right. go. So Harry, take it away with the arranged test. Left one there and pop the right one in and just adjusting the volume to my liking. That's perfect. Popping this in my pocket and let's go. So we're just going out of the studio now. You can hear the audio very clearly. Uh, we're about 20 meters away uh, from the studio. It's absolutely fantastic. I can hear myself. Just gonna go through. So we're now in a, in a different building. Uh, let's just check out the distance. I can still hear extremely clearly. There's no distortion uh, whatsoever. So as you can see, I've walked past uh, and through a house. We're now going to go outside of the house. I can still hear myself uh, extremely clearly. Now there's, um, there's a slight, slight distortion, but for what we need, this is absolutely perfect. So no, fantastic. So in all fairness, these kinds of tests are very subjective because the only person who knows what the sound quality is like is the person wearing the headphones like I am here. So just a few things to note here. The whole system is a very easy plug and play system to use. Setting this system up straight out of the box, I really didn't have to do much. Just press the button to select the frequencies both on the receiver and the transmitter and the whole system was paired and ready to go. And one of the most important things for me are with any type of audio equipment is the sound quality. I found the audio quality to be excellent coming from the system. However, when I use the system in the studio, I will use my own in-ear monitors as I feel they're a lot better than what these are. However, for the price you pay, you still get some in-ear monitors, but they do the job and they do it pretty good. And in terms of the build quality for the system, I felt that the transmitter and the body pack receiver were excellent. And the fact that you can have a multiple amounts of body pack receivers to run on one single transmitter is a great feature inbuilt into the system. And the fact that the range is 100 60 feet in an open space in line of sight is another great feature because I don't think you would need to go any more than 160 feet to use this system. This system does operate on the 900 megahertz range and it also comes with 89 channels of use. So all in all, would I recommend the PTM 10 system to yourselves? Absolutely yes. So if you're looking for a budget friendly, affordable in-ear monitoring system, I will link it down below. If you have any questions, drop us a comment and that's all you're going to get from me for today. Hit that like button if you like the video or smash it if that's something you're into subscribe if you aren't already and i shall see you in the next video